tired of the standard dehumidifiers, tired of that uh, basement-y smell, we'll be right back and we're gonna tell you how to get rid of that in your home. So welcome back. As I said, we're going to talk about your basement today and you've got lots to learn here. We've got Byron and Ron. Thank you again for joining us. You're from Eris and we're talking about, we've done a couple shows with you now. We've talked about uh, air quality in our home, which is super important. We talked about um, washing your laundry with no detergent. Watch that one if you haven't. It's amazing. Okay, let's talk about basements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have a part of our company we call it a division called uh, Smell Busters, some basement yeah. smell busters. Smell busters, I like that. Yeah, so if you have any issues in your in your whole home, but especially your basement, um, you might have a an odor you can't kind of resolve, you know, something lurking there, um, a high humidity content. We can come in and do testing for free to help find a solution. So we'll, our testing will include air humidity testing, surface humidity testing. We'll test for particles in the air also at one in five microns. Uh, and then we'll do some other other tests that are all non-invasive, nothing mm -hmm. to hurt in, in your home. And we'll, we'll put that into a sheet and collect the data and then show you a solution that, that can help. Yeah. So a lot of times it's dehumidification and a lot of customers we see already have a dehumidifier running, but it's, it's, they're not educated on the size and, the, and the, yeah. how big it can handle everything. So, so we have systems that can you know, do a larger, our smallest system does up to 1400 square feet by itself. And then we have larger systems from there. Um, Not too many people have a basement, you know, larger than 1,400 square exactly, feet. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, but we can handle the, the high moisture content. Now, if you yeah. have a cracked foundation, we don't handle that. It's right. more for the, just the, especially new homes. A new home and all that water coming out of the concrete, the foundation at first. That's true. Yeah, yeah people don't realize. Mold can grow very quickly. So our, um, we, we do dehumidification, and then we also have our active pure, again, our space technology. And with that, we can kill mold on contact and in the air. And that's a thing, that, but very healthy and safe to be around and, and, and live in your home at the same yeah. time. Yeah, that's, that, that's the thing that impressed me the most was the mold situation. So mm -hmm. if you've got, you know, you get that black mold going on and, you you know, you take this unit, these, these uh, hydroxyls go out, attach themselves to the mold and basically, like, kill the mold. And it yeah. turns into a white, almost turns into like a white or gray powder. powder. Yeah. Wipe it off. So you can just vacuum it or wipe yeah. it off. It's it, off. it dries it out is kind of how the mm -hmm. secret behind it. Yeah. So. And we were talking about earlier that it, it produces peroxide, that's natural that. peroxide. Correct. That's so it's drawn it from it. the air and sending it out. That's yeah. the basics of it. And that's how it's going to kill everything mm -hmm. um, in a safe manner. Yeah. So it's a uh, space technology. Which and sometimes we'll get basements. You know, how many of you out there have the basement that it's a, uh, it's an older house. It's always damp, but there's no cracks or anything. It just, especially the corners in the basement. Mm -hmm. And that's what gives that smell off to, I call it yeah. basement -y. It, it is. Well, we live in Nova Scotia. Now, we live on, everybody lives on the ocean, the high humidity content and the concrete just absorbs. It's like a sponge. It's going to mm -hmm. absorb that moisture. So because of that, we need to draw it out very quickly and keep it mm -hmm. at bay. Once we draw it down, then we look at, is there any other issues that, you know, the, is there a mold issue or mildew or, mm -hmm. um, or do we need, to, we have a, what the, it's called a blaster, it's a hydroxyl blaster and we, we can rent that out if we don't. And what does that do? That'll send out our active pure technology, our space technology, and just do it really fast and rapid. Is it like a, is it like a, a hose with water or is it air? No, it's or an it... air box. It's a box uh, about uh, 18 inches by 18 inches and yeah. 24 inches tall. And we'll place that in a room, and it'll do a thousand cubic feet per hour. So does it a high? Oh, so you're rate. not actually doing anything. You're no, just sitting leave, in the machine oh, does all the work. So we can go in and leave that, and that'll, you know, within 24 hours, we'll we'll change everything pretty quickly for everything, as long as we're controlling the humidity, also the yeah. moisture. and it's, it's a rental. We well, rent that yeah. out. And, yeah. and, and, yeah. and it's when you think about it, like um, a lot of competing companies or chemical companies will come in, you know, where they say, well, you got to wash it down with bleach. You gotta it, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and they yeah. charge you lots of money. It's very labor intensive. Yeah. And, and then you're left with all this chlorine. And, and you, you know, can smell it. And Yeah, I mean, and that's chemicals that you're breathing in. Okay. I mean, so with this technology, you know, it's just using the natural peroxide occurring that occurs in the air, concentrates it. To clean it, the air and yeah, clean the surfaces. As it goes through Yeah, a lot of people will can come in and let's say you had a, we're not a remediation company, but sometimes just surface mold is what you're concerned on. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can wipe that down with a, a, a cleaning product or a chemical. But the mold, the scary part about mold is it, because it pollinates. Mm -hmm. So you can wipe it off the wall, but what's in the air is the kind of the, the danger part. You, so the machine gotta, does both. The, the machine will do both and it'll get rid of what's in the air also. Because mm -hmm. as you inhale that, it's like a golf ball with spikes. If you look at mold under a microscope, it's just very, you know, yeah. horny spikes on it. 
So when you're inhaling that, that gets deep down into your esophagus and lung tissue and tight cuts you open microscopically wow. into, into your blood cells. So then you're absorbing all those right into your body. So, so you I could rent to one to get to get rid of the, the poor air quality and some of the mold and mildew. Um, and then really to be proactive, you should have one of your units in that basement so it doesn't because it'll just happen again. Exactly. So we have machines of different sizes that, that, that'll fit your, your home, your basement, or your even main level, doesn't mm -hmm. depend where it is, yeah. that will control and keep that at bay and be, be proactive yeah. working all yeah. the time. So down the basement, like, so what happens down? I mean, I grew up, you know, I'm on a slab in my current house, but growing up, you know, I had eight foot walls and, mm -hmm. you know, mom would, don't forget to empty the dehumidifier, you know, and it would shut itself off and you're dumping the water mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So you guys have a dehumidifier too, right? We do. We have a whole line of dehumidifiers, depending on what size and yeah. And are they like they... dump the water at once? We have ones you can dump the water just for smaller ones, and and most of them have a drain hose to them. Okay. And some are you know we pretty much install them we call it and yeah. um, put them right to a drain and then just, just turn them on and leave them. Let okay. them do all this work by itself. And if you don't about. want the the drain and you don't want the you know the hassle of checking on anything, you then have the other machines that you can just put in the basement and continually keeps the air itself clean. Correct. Pulls the moisture out. Yeah. I think that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I really, yeah. You wouldn't believe the houses I go in. There's so many customers out there that people that have a home and they just don't know where the solution is. They have, they know they have a bit of an issue, but they don't know how to solve it. They've tried to solve it themselves yeah. and it's not, and they don't know where to go. Because a lot of times when you call that, that big company, it's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And they know it, you know, it's a $10,000 bill every time. and. That's yeah. too much. Yeah. So, so we have a you know a smaller process, very affordable. Yeah. Um, we'll work with the customer to, to find the best solution. Yeah. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah. This happens a lot. So somebody's put new roof shingles on. They have the ridge vent. Everything's fine. But when the buyer comes in, the inspector goes up. They have staining on the sheathing, or they call it mold, on the on the ceiling on the sheathing from prior to it having the correct air system air ventilation system mm -hmm. is there a little a unit you can put up there that will literally clean that there is yeah we, we have systems you can put up there we have customers that run it almost all year round and they're yeah. at it just to keep can you better. rent one yeah you can rent them and then of course with that is the staining might never go away we can you know we can say That's it's right. dead because it, it's stained up the, the right the plywood or the, yeah. the board but but we can make sure it's gone yeah, yeah for sure do you know one thing i learned i didn't know this one time i went I asked the inspector to scrape me off a little bit of what's on so I could see what kind it is. Mm -hmm. And then I took it to um, Happy Labs in Burnside. And um, I said, was it alive? And he said, well, Brenda, I, I needed to make it come alive. I needed to culture it, you know, mm -hmm. where it had been up there. He goes, it's actually not lit. I learned so much about bacteria that way. So it's, if it's just up there staining this machine here, like it, if you put it in, as long as you've got the right ventilation, it won't come back. As long as the ventilation has been corrected and everything, it won't come back. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, how, what what kind of cost is associated with the rental? Rental on average, you're looking around two hundred to four hundred dollars a day, depending on the square footage. That's what amazing. Needs to be done. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you see? We try to be affordable for everybody. That's the thing. So you yeah, know yeah, what? I mean, speaking of affordability, though, just I just wanted to mention about you know, we were talking about dehumidifiers. Uh, you know, everything. Oh, I got, I got one in the basement. Already. Right, right. But if you, those things are real energy hogs, like the older ones. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, if you plug them in and have them running all the time, you can, you know, it'll, it'll change your electric bill. Yeah. Now these new units, I mean, they're energy efficient now. I mean, there's just built so much. You know, yeah. they're energy, energy star. Yeah. Uh, if you inspect an old dehumidifier, take a flashlight and look inside of it on the fins. You can see dust and yeah. grime build up. That's not something you want to turn on and spread that towards the air. So sometimes it's just yeah. better to get a new one anyways. Yeah. And we have ones even with HEPA filters in them to yeah. help purify the air as it's going yeah. through it. The look of shock on my face is because when we have sellers that have this old staining and companies, literally minimum $1,500. Mm -hmm. And they come in, I don't know what they use on them, probably a bleach type mm -hmm. product. Yeah. 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 And, the, and sometimes they say, well, I'll paint them and... You know, but they go up and they clean it and they say, and they say the staining is still there, but, but an average size bungalow, $1,500. Yeah. And do you know it's actually all gone because it's a stain? You might've got the surface, but it's in the air also that there's any spores. That's true. Mm -hmm. so that resettle. The danger is you can resettle and grow somewhere else. Recult, like they're right. going to culture and make it grow again. If there's any touch of the humidity there, and of course there will be some, if, if that's alive and it's been 
bothered, yeah. it's going to find somewhere else to pollinate and grow and, and we'll, we'll do the whole thing at once. It gets into the cracks and crevices, even fabrics, it'll penetrate. Um, yeah, look at all the insulation that's up there and everything that's yeah. laying for that to cling to. To go, Wow, there you go. So if you have some staining in your attic or your basement's got that smell, so we've got Ron's our local guy here, our local expert. Mm -hmm. Um, so we've got your name there running along mm -hmm. your name, but his phone number. So That's right. right. Yeah. Ron's so the guy you want to talk to. Definitely yeah. talk to Ron, uh, your basement. If you want to get out of the dehumidifiers, you want the clean air and everything. Thank you no so problem. much for taking no, the time to come out. All right. Thanks for having us. Give Ron a call and clean the air in your house. I'm Brenda Kay with Halifax Real Estate, the channel that we talk about everything and anything to do with your real estate. Subscribe to our channel and share and like us with your friends. Cheers.